we're taking a live look of downtown Fort Wayne as we're seeing mostly clear skies this morning. Overall, here's our storm track radar. Again, nothing is going on across uh, here in 21 country. Zooming on out, pretty quiet across the Midwest, but looking down towards our south, we do have the remnants of Nicholas, which is just a tropical low and it's tracking towards the north, which will bring some showers into tomorrow. So looking at our surface weather map, we're going to be dry today. That's all thanks to this high pressure system right over the Great Lakes. So we'll see some sunshine this morning, but with the tropical low making its way towards the north, that's going to increase the cloud cover for today as the system continues to track towards the north. This will bring some rain chances uh, back into tomorrow afternoon. And then behind that is a cold front, and that's going to slide towards the east, and that will bring scattered showers and storms into Tuesday. So overall, rain chances for the next five days. Again, dry today, but starting on Monday into Tuesday, we'll see chances for some scattered showers, which may linger into Wednesday morning and then drying out as we get into Thursday. So looking at their future track to see if you're trying to make any plans today, we will see plenty of sunshine this morning, especially for folks hanging out to church. But as we get towards the afternoon, clouds will be increasing. So by dinner time, five o'clock, expect to see partly to mostly cloudy skies. So if you do want to go to the Johnny Appleseed Festival or the Keenard Farm Dairy, Fa uh, Dairy Farm Fall Festival, it, we will be dry today. And as we get towards tonight, overcast conditions. And then as we get into Monday morning, we'll see the uh, tropical low make its way uh, towards north, bringing some light scattered rain showers Monday morning and also for Monday afternoon. But as we get towards tomorrow night, we will begin to dry out mostly cloudy skies. And as we get into Tuesday afternoon, we'll start to see a cold front slide on through and that will bring scattered showers and storms uh, around about two to three o'clock. And so uh, it is going to bring much needed rain overall. We're expecting to see about one to two inches of rain. So areas kind of shade this. These dark blue colors indicate about one to two inches. And then this kind of dark green colors indicate about a half an inch to an inch of rain. And we do need the rain because so far, looking at our drought monitor, we're a bit on the dry side. I mean, we've only seen about just a little under half an inch of rainfall for the month of September. And so looking at our weather headlines for the next few days ahead. So we will be warm and dry today. Rain chances will be returning and now we're expecting a big cool down ahead. So current temperatures, if you are stepping out the door, upper 50s towards our north into Auburn and Gola 61 here in Fort Wayne and into Huntington. And so we're expecting our highs to be into the mid 80s. So we will be warm today and that will change as we get into the week ahead. So what you're looking at, this is the jet stream. This is really high up into the atmosphere. So whatever happens in the upper atmosphere happens here down at the surface. So we are going to be warm today, but starting into midweek, you start to see this cooler air start to dip down towards the south and that will continue as we get into the rest of the work week. And so looking at our extended forecast warm today, but as that cold front starts to push through, we start to drop down into the 60s, especially for the first day of fall. It will drying out by Thursday and Friday, but temperatures will stay below normal for at least starting on Wednesday and for most of the rest of the month of September. You know, it's actually glad to be able to see fall coming back in, to being able to see the different fall festivals that are popping up. We can actually go out maybe apple picking or pumpkin picking. It's a good season. You know, and for folks that want to save money from the, the AC, they can mm -hmm. just turn it off starting into Wednesday. Oh, yeah, most definitely. It's definitely been a hot summer. Thank you for that full forecast, Matthew. Coming up next, we'll tell you about the Emmy Awards. They are tonight. We have a preview next.